what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? If you haven't already done so, be sure to hit that little bell next to the subscription button after you subscribe so that you can get your notifications each time I drop a new video like this. Now moving on. Denzel Washington. Oh man, it's on. Now let me say this before I get too deep into this topic. When I heard about these comments that Denzel Washington supposedly had made, I sat on it for a couple of days because first of all, I couldn't even believe it. I go in and I start searching for the story. I find it on all kind of conservative sites, but I can't find it on any of the more progressive sites or liberal sites or even so-called even sites. I couldn't find it. The moderate sites couldn't find it. I noticed that I saw it on the blaze. I saw it on the conservative sites like Breitbart. I saw it on the New York, well, what is it? New York Daily News, those type of sites, tabloids type stuff. I saw it, but I didn't see it on CNN, ABC, NBC, CBS. Not even Fox News carried the story. That really made me suspicious because I know, boy, as soon as they catch a black person out of pocket and off cold, they going in. They going to put them up there and say, yeah, this is the man or this is the woman. And well, I really respect. They love to say stuff like that. They never respected you before, but all of a sudden they say, I respect them for saying that. Those type of sites, the conservative sites, anytime you see them quoting a black person or telling a black person as something great or doing something great, it's usually when that black person is shitting on the black community. So when I saw Denzel on those sites then, and they were speaking highly of them, I was like, oh yeah, yeah, okay. So I go in and sure enough, uh, even in the comments section, they're like, yeah, yeah, I respect Denzel Washington. I really respect him, never respect him. Oh, not in respect them. So I want you to listen to this and take these words with a grain of salt like I'm doing. I'm only reporting it though because it does some of what he said, a lot of what he says actually does have some basis it does have a lot of truth to it. But let me paint the complete picture for you. Let me, allow me to paint the complete picture. All right, so here's what Denzel uh, had to say. He, this is when he was speaking to a reporter from the Grio. This is during an advanced screening of his new movie, Roman J. Israel Esquire in New York City. They asked him about mass incarceration of black males. And this is what Denzel said. If the father is not in the home, this is what he supposedly said. If the father is not in the home, the boy will find a father in the streets, he said. I saw it in my generation and every generation before me and every one since. If the streets raise you, then the judge becomes your mother and prison becomes your home. Now, according to New York Daily News, Denzel expanded on his answer when pressed by reporters. He said, it starts with how you raise your children. If a young man doesn't have a father figure, he'll go find a father figure. So, and he went on to say, I can't blame the system. That's what he said. He actually said it. I can't blame the prison system. It starts at home. This is what they're saying. That this is what they claim he said. Now, I was kind of waiting on Denzel to come back and, and, and clear up everything. You 
or say what he really meant or, or, or just say, reiterate what he said. If those are indeed Denzel Washington's words, I have to agree with a number of points that he made. But I ain't no way I'll ever fix my mouth to say I can't blame the prison system. Are we really going to act like systematic racism and white supremacy don't play a huge role, don't have a heavy hand in black males being incarcerated throughout America? Are we really going to play that game? Man, I ain't got no problem with accepting responsibility. I can have a situation if my woman cheating on me is one thing. But if I'm going to sit there and just continually take it, that's another. So I can't excuse what she did. I still got to blame her for cheating. I can't just say, well, I got to go on by my business. I got to leave. Yeah, I'm going to go on by my business. I'm going to take care of my business. I'm going to get on up out of that. But she still got to accept the blame, her blame too. She still got to accept the role that she played. I still got to give her credit for what she did. See, that's what they try to do. They try to excuse themselves from culpability for the things that they're guilty of. And they just try to put it all on black people. Don't ever think systematic racism. Don't you ever Look, man, I know some people got agendas, so they'll never, ever admit that the system is rigged. They'll never admit the system is rigged. But if you're black, you should never, ever fix your damn mouth to excuse systematic racism and white supremacy. Don't ever do that. You look like a damn fool. Let's take responsibility. Okay, we got that. That's my situation. I understand that white supremacy is running rampant throughout America. I understand systematic racism. So I got to take responsibility to avoid those minds. I mean, we, we're in America, black males especially are walking through a minefield. This is a minefield for us. And you step on the wrong thing at any moment, you lose a whole leg, might lose your life, lose your freedom. We know that the traps are out there. I get that part. So that's what I'm saying. We know that the traps are out there. Let's do what we got to do to avoid those traps. Let's not give them an excuse to arrest us, to bother us. Let's get, get on our game. These are things that we can control. Being there for our children, being a presence in our children's life, being active, being a positive influence. Because like Denzel said, if a young man don't have a father figure at home, he's going to go out there in the streets and find a father figure. He's going to find a father figure somewhere. He might find a father figure on television in one of these rap videos with his butt cheeks out and looking like a damn fool, wearing a dress or something, got earrings on. He might find that to be appealing to be a father figure. So I get that part. But man, let's not ever excuse systematic racism and white supremacy in America. Because when you do that, it makes them think it's okay. And it makes all of those little people that's run around, little minions who like to give passes to the systemic racism and white supremacy. It makes them feel justified in their beliefs. In most cases, Shitty parents are going to produce shitty children. Listen to what I said, because I know some of y'all like to hear what you want to hear, and then you take off running. I said, in most cases, I didn't say in all cases, in most cases, shitty parents produce shitty children. That's a fact. And that ain't got nothing to do with 
race. That's across the board. They're saying that Denzel said the blame for black incarceration start at home. The operative word here is start. That means that there are other variables working, working to destroy the black family, variables that I've already mentioned. Now, for you people out there that say, yeah, 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 take some responsibility. He ain't said nothing wrong. He ain't said nothing wrong. Make sure that you get a complete understanding of what he said and you put your comment in proper context. So let me break it down to some of y'all, the ones who saw the title and ran with it. The ones who were like, yeah, yeah, that's right. Take responsibility for yourself. Government ain't did nothing to you. It's not white supremacy. It's not systemic racism. It's you and you only. Not everyone has the strength to escape their situations. Not everyone has the mental fortitude to get themselves out of a bad situation. This is where white supremacy and systemic racism flourishes. They count, they prey on those who don't have the mental fortitude to get themselves out of bad situations, to avoid bad situations, to get themselves out of bad environments. They prey on that. And the police will plant dope, they profile, they got the courts in America filled to capacity with black folks. Criminal and traffic courts filled. If you don't know any better, you ain't not a type of person who's a critical thinker. If you walk into a courtroom and see all the black people, you think you're in Africa. You know, you think you're in a country that was predominantly black. The average person not going to even fix their mind to say that, oh, I can see why this is happening. Oh, it's because we're living in a white supremacist society and they're targeting black people. They're disproportionately locking up black people, disproportionately putting cases on black people. Because we're living in a white supremacist society. We're living in a systematic racist society. That's what it is. White people can afford to not have the mental fortitude to escape bad living conditions, a bad environment, because the government and police force, they're not targeting them for failure. They're not targeting them to lock them up and put them in jail. They're not targeting them to put fake cases on them. Now, I know that there are rare cases where white people get targeted, you know, by a dirty cop. He wants this person. He wants to plant some drugs on this person or plant a case on a person. That happens. I, I know that that happens. It's rare. It happens. But it doesn't happen with the frequency that locking up innocent black people and planting drugs and putting cases and profiling black people happens. It just doesn't happen with that type of frequency. So that's the biggest difference. So take this Denzel quote with a grain of salt until you hear from him like I did. And, but take the information and run with it, though, because a lot of the information that he said was valid. We do need uh, for black fathers to be present in their children's lives, just like the white fathers need to be present. They got work to do. The Asians and the Hispanics got work to do. Everybody got work to do. Okay? 
they try to act like black people got crime and poverty and and you know divorce and single parenting on lock. Like that's just a black thing. Like anything that's wrong with America, just uh, black. What about the black? Let's see what the blacks doing. Oh, they they don't they're the problem. Got to be able to peep game, man. But I'm with that. I'm with I'm with the whole take responsibility thing. I'm with that one thousand percent. But if you living in America, you got to be a damn fool to think. That systemic racism and white supremacy don't have a major role in the incarceration of black males. No more talk. What the talking about? Yeah. Tell me about it.